While global warming takes place with atmospheric gases, a great way to gain personal experience in the science is to start with experiments looking at the greenhouse effect with solid objects using thermal infrared cameras. This allows engaging public demonstrations of an essential part of how global warming works. Common picture frame glass is a solid material that is perfect with which to begin, as ordinary glass beautifully demonstrates the greenhouse effect. And just in the form it takes in the case of global warming. This is an application of the effect happening through radiated heat transfer. In the split screen images, scenes are viewed with a visible light camera on the left, while the same scene in long wavelength infrared, as was viewed by the lab participants, is displayed on the right. As glass is transparent to visible light, we can see one another right through the glass. In the experiments, people can also clearly see the cameras. Sunlight is composed almost entirely of light in short wavelengths. We see it as passing freely through transparent materials like ordinary glass. At the same time, most long wavelength infrared light does not pass through glass. The great majority of it is absorbed by the glass. Our faces, hands and clothes, contrasted against our surroundings, are a great representation for our planet as a whole. This is light produced by our bodies, similar to the way our entire planet produces long wavelength infrared light. Wavelengths that might otherwise radiate back out to space are blocked by greenhouse effect materials if placed between the surface of the Earth and outer space. What you are seeing in this video are public demonstrations of the actual greenhouse effect. It offers a platform for further hands-on science experimentation. This is not a demonstration by analogy. It is the real thing, in real time, under the control of, and right in the hands of students. In this lab, we recognize and make clear that materials that exhibit the greenhouse effect can be solid, liquid, or a gas. In this lab station, we can next explore a liquid material that passes visible light but absorbs infrared. Liquids which possess this property are numerous and quite common. Plain water is the pretty obvious best first choice to focus on. It is safe and not messy to work with. It has what we are looking for in preferred materials for study. It is familiar and ordinary. And yet, as students can discover, test and verify for themselves, what few people know, everyday water also filters light in a way similar to greenhouse effect solids and gases. Our favorite vessels for holding the water are ordinary Ziploc style bags, filled roughly one fourth way. That's a good amount so experimenters can slosh the water around to see the contrast between the presence and absence of greenhouse effect filtering in real time. It's clear that the visible and infrared reactions are moving in sync. As we will cover in other videos, Ziploc style bags also work well because they interfere minimally with their own small greenhouse effect contribution in the experiment. We generally fold over the seal and apply a couple wraps of duct tape to the top of the bag to prevent leaks in preparation for a day's worth of experiments in the hands of hundreds of people. Visible light passes through the water. We can see one another through the water, although it may look a bit like a funhouse mirror due to refraction. Sunlight also goes through. But earth light, or the glow of our faces, that is, long wavelength infrared, that's captured by the water. The light radiated by our bodies essentially warms the water ever so slightly. 
The thermal camera does image the infrared light produced by the water, but not our faces on the other side. This too demonstrates a characteristic shared with greenhouse effect solids and gases, a subject we can explore in depth with this lab station. The Mobile Climate Science Labs absolutely does bring to the public hands-on lab stations that explore the greenhouse effect and global warming with atmospheric gases. It is our experience, however, that lab stations using solids and liquids set up side by side to and complementing our atmospheric lab stations provides the most engaging, accurate, and rich science experience combination. The equipment required for good resolution imaging of atmospheric greenhouse gases is still very expensive and as of now does not lend itself well for live hands-on experiments in public settings. We have been working around that problem from several angles. The long wavelength infrared lab station in this series of videos was developed specifically to meet a challenge faced by science educators all over the world. How do we accurately demonstrate and explore a field of science where most of what takes place is invisible. The effects of global warming and climate change are now quite visible all over the planet to anyone willing to look. But the underlying mechanism takes place mainly in light beyond the limits of human eyesight. In California, for several years now, this mobile lab station has allowed tens of thousands of enthusiastic students, families, and everyone who wishes to explore the actual greenhouse effect, to do their own experiments, hands-on. Together, people young and old have been exploring how global warming works. This is serious science on a serious subject, but learning how to make the science yours can be empowering and fun. Students have made discoveries in the invisible world, tested and verified theories, and evaluated the effectiveness of a variety of proposed responses to global warming. Since 1999, it has been the style of our volunteers that our climate science demonstrations must be engaging and hands-on. We are pleased to share more of our techniques with colleagues internationally through our many online videos to follow. Videos we hope you will enjoy.